my story came about at a rather unique at a, at a rather unique time because the story itself goes back to all the way before we decided to get married. You see, I was waiting to go into surgery and I can't remember exactly, this is eight weeks ago, exactly what the anesthesiologist said to me. Something that made her laugh and laugh. And I don't remember. She said, what do you mean your husband never asked you to marry him? And that was last I remembered until I got in the operating room. And she's announcing to everybody there, hey, she's going to tell us a story about the fact that she's never had her husband propose to her. Yes, you never asked. We came through um, uh, 54 years and so many opportunities. The first time I heard about it was when I went to visit Peru for the first time. He took over my life. He went and purchased a ring. He never didn't give it to me till quite some time after, but he never asked me if I wanted to wear it. How could that be? 54 years? And we, we never asked if I would, if you would marry me. Well, Time went on in different events. We had a, our first son. Our first son made the news because I was not going to stay home from work. And he still didn't ask me, Susan, will you marry me? He didn't ask me. You never asked me. I got him sitting here for that purpose. Well, we went on, had another baby. And we still, we made another trip to Peru. He still didn't ask me. We got to our 25th wedding anniversary. That was an anniversary to remember because at that anniversary, we had a, a cake with boxing gloves on it. And the boxing gloves right around it said, nobody does it better. But even with all those boxing gloves, he never said, Susan, will you marry me? Never. We went on. We've had a lot of exciting times in our life. The best, of course, for me is the stories. But I have to tell you, as of this day, we got married 54 years ago, last September. And as of this date, I don't know what this date again, I forgot. Oh, are we sometime in April? Well, I would like you to know this gentleman sitting beside me still has not said, Susan, will you marry me? I don't know what's going to happen now, but thank you for letting me share. <laughs>